It's a hallmark of the Boston sports media. One bad game, and our sports heroes are instantly labeled has-beens. And after last week's dismal showing by the Patriots, Tom Brady became the latest all-star to feel the contempt of a fickle press. The drumbeat has been building for weeks. Even before last week's crushing loss to the Kansas City Chiefs, the pundits were piling on Tom Brady. Now the 37-year-old's game is being questioned. Is Tom Brady on the decline? Then came that 41-14 loss. You just look at the New England Patriots right now. Their personnel is clearly in question. Tom Brady might agree, saying it's a team problem. I mean, it's not one person, it's not one thing, it's everybody doing a better job. Hey Tom, tell that to your pals in the press. There's really only one topic people want to talk about right now, and that's Tom Brady. Where is this guy right now? There was a lot of talk about his decline at age 37 through the first four games. It hasn't looked good for Tom. And people are starting to talk about whether Tom Brady is over. Tom Brady doesn't seem to be on target, overthrowing, underthrowing. The print press got its licks in, too. The end game is apparent. What's wrong with Tom Brady? The Pats are less likely to bounce back this season, and it's the inevitable demise of a once great team. Even Tom's former NFL pals are piling on. Deion Sanders tweeted, something must be wrong with my TV. That can't be Tom Brady. And one-time Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb, who's Brady's age, thinks time's up. Believe the rumblings will start that this could be Tom Brady's last year in New England. Meanwhile, you really know the Patriots are in trouble when the Boston Globe's Dan Shaughnessy is the voice of reason. After reciting a litany of criticism from Patriots haters, Shaughnessy notes, as bad as the Patriots have been, they're tied for first place. Yeah, I mean, our division, it's everybody is two, two and two, two and two, two and two, and the Jets are one and three. It's like, so in, in the division, we're, we're, we're average. We're doing fine. I, this, I, I got to the point. I was listening so much of this to put this piece together. I had to take my headsets off. I couldn't stand it. The, the pontificating, the oh, whoa, the, and the horrible things. People say it's almost like they can't wait to pile on Tom Brady because he's so handsome, he's so health, wealthy, he's got such a beautiful wife, his life is so perfect, you know, but people can't wait to turn on him, you know? Well, well, I, think, I, think, well, I was just going to say, I know nothing about football, and I think this is ridiculous. Leave the man alone. <laughs> you know, can he not have a bad game? Yes. I thought you could have a bad game. I don't watch the stuff, but can't you have a bad yes. game? Okay, so he had a bad game. Get over yourselves. And let me just say, this is what this is. This is generally the conversation conversation after a football game. How'd you do, coach? Well, the team played. We're together. We're going to go forward to the next season. Well, how do you think you're going to do? Well, we're going to play together. We're going to go forward the next yeah. season. That's all they have to talk about. So this was something new. Yeah. That's all <laughs> so, I can so. figure, you know, because <laughs> they don't have anything else to say. That's my take on it. This <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, this is, this is what sports media and sports radio was born for. Moments like this, when you have the handsome quarterback who's mm -hmm. led the team to three Super Bowls, uh, who's been the face of the franchise for more than a decade, you know, he's he's got it all going for him, and now he's suddenly seeing the decline that happens to all quarterbacks, let alone all football players. And so you combine that with the fact that the Patriots finally have what looks like a viable backup in Jimmy Garofalo, and all of a sudden there's something that we can call a quarterback controversy brewing. Now, putting all that aside, putting aside the fact that if you're a football fan, you say, well, he wasn't getting any help from his receivers, yeah. the, de the defense wasn't doing that good. It's just, it's still ridiculous. You know, the only way Tom Brady's career is going to end in New England is if he takes off his helmet, exactly. brushes off that beautiful man, you know, with a twinkle in his eye and a smile <laughs> in his heart, <laughs> walks off into the sunset, exactly. or, or Bill Belichick cuts him unceremoniously in the preseason <laughs> at a press conference. Those are the only ways that this is going to end. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you, Emily, that many sporting events are better when you turn the sound off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's just a general rule. Uh, I, I don't watch football. I have mm. to confess. I, uh, I have read a lot of the commentary yeah. about uh, Brady's mm -hmm. demise and um, you know it's a team game and apparently the offensive line is terrible this year. Well it's hard to be a good quarterback if, if you're being chased around the backfield all the time. I mean it's it is ridiculous and uh, you know I would think that a few games from now when he, he looks more like his old self again uh, a lot of this is going to look very foolish if anybody even remembers it. That's the other thing. There's no memory for these yeah, things. The other thing is he can he could play a good game and they could still lose it. Yes. And it, this is really about losing. The, the, the media yeah. Yeah. goes crazy when they lose a game because if, if that game if they'd played just that badly and won you wouldn't be having this discussion. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean they thought David Ortiz was all done a couple of years I ago remember. and he came <laughs> roaring back.
don't have anything else to talk about. I'm telling you're, you. You're actually right. Yeah, you know. <laughs>